As in the previous videos, we saw how can we read the data from a service. Now, in this particular video, we will see what if the data is existing in some external environment. That environment could be a database or could be provided by a service itself. So what we are doing here, we will create a separate JSON file inside which we will keep the data and then we will try to read that particular JSON file from our service. So the thing, it means the major approach is remaining same but we have just extracted the data from our hard-coded service and we have kept that inside a JSON file. So let's see how to implement the loading of a JSON data in our Angular application. So as I discussed, I just moved that particular data of service in the separate JSON file. The data and the structure is still the same which I have defined in the interface but it is now moved to a separate file. Now while reading this particular file from the service, I will just use the URL of this file. All right. If you are not reading a file, if it is about the service or any database, you can just pass the URL of that particular service which is reading the data from the database. Angular itself directly will not deal with the database. So the way of reading the data from external file or from a, through a service will remain similar. Yes, there will be a bit change if there is some cross origin thing, but overall the things will remain similar. Now, I will start making the changes from my service from where initially I was returning the complete data, but now I will do a bit more changes, right? I will not return this complete information, rather I will choose some different options. First thing that I am importing here is the HTTP, the module which I will be using for reading this data, alright? So I will include that HTTP module from Angular HTTP. Apart from that, when I will be using this HTTP service to read the data, I may have to go for the asynchronous activities because I will not read the complete data if it's large at a time. So I'll have to go to asynchronous to maintain the performance as well. And for that, here I have this observable package which I will get from RxJS, that is the ReactiveX JavaScript library for performing the asynchronous server activities. And this particular thing will give you a lot of operators as here I have map, you can include do as per your preference, alright. So here I am using this operator map in order to make my major operations, alright, that is the reading the file. Along with this HTTP, when I will read the data, I will get some responses. So that will also be found from the same location. So I just included that as well. And now inside this class, I will do some more changes. First is the constructor inside which I have taken a private variable called HTTP, which will be of type HTTP. All right. As you know, this is the shorthand thing using a constructor that simply means that in this class I have defined the HTTP property which is private and it is of HTTP type and this constructor is initializing that HTTP property with this parameter alright so I am just using shorthand as I was doing earlier so this is the HTTP property here and inside this get employees the name of the method is still the same get employees which I used in the previous program but now this get program get employees is not returning you the data it is reading a file and then returning you return it's not the hard coded data which is returning all right and here I am using this observable using this interface I employ all right now my data is type safe through this interface so it is returning you the array of I employee types. So what I will do, it will return this dot HTTP that is this private member. Get is the method which we will use for reading the data. And inside that I have passed this JSON file location. As I said earlier, you can choose any service path as well, which will return you any data. Like if there is any restful service which is returning you the data you can just make a get request from that restful service now through this map operator i'm just making a call and what i'm doing here is there is something called response 
that should be there is something wrong it should be response type all right so there is a variable resp which of response type and this will read this json file and will return the data so let me just save it and come to the component file now since i am reading some asynchronous data so the way of calling this service will be a bit different the first thing which i'll have to add here is the on init as this on init will help us in calling the http service asynchronously then i'll have to implement this on init interface here all right and this interface will give me a method called ng on init so rather than calling this service here because it should be time it, it will be time consuming thing and i don't prefer that doing inside the uh, constructor so i will not invoke this get employees method out here rather i'll just comment it and i will do this invocation on this ng on init which is provided by this on init interface all right so here it's get employees but since here it is about observable now as soon as that observable will release some data here the subscribe means the listener will get the data and will show that so for that here is a subscribe method which will just read the data from the employees all right so here is the employees which is again of that interface type and whichever data you are getting that will be stored inside this employees variable and that will later be read by this html that is the employees all right so let's come to the browser and see i am getting the complete output as it was earlier all right there is nothing wrong i am reading the data from this json file first i just check this service i added a couple of things like the http response observable map all right and then inside this get employees i just returned that observable that which is the asynchronous thing all right and whichever data is read from this json file that is taken by this ng on init method asynchronously and later as the full data was read this employees will be in action and that will show the data in the html so this is how i am still able to read this data from the external database or a service or any json file